the religion of woke environmentalism. New York has made a move to ban natural gas, meaning your gas stoves are going away, even though Chuck Schumer said that they weren't. They're in Illinois, though, we're also on a similar track with a bill that's mandating electric vehicle charger capabilities for new construction, and that's heading to Governor Pritzker's desk. Along with that, we also in the in the state in the last uh, week or so had the ComEd four Mike Madigan's cronies convicted on all counts of corruption. Everybody, if you're just tuning in, I'm uh, I'm Kevin Ferris, and you're watching Speechless. So I'm obviously not an expert on everything Illinois government. And so I oftentimes want to bring on people that are. <laughs> as as I could possibly get. And so that's why today, talking about the things that I just started off with, I have State Representative Brad Holbrook, uh, who is from, I believe you're from the 107th District, correct? That's right, Kevin. Thanks for having me on. 107th uh, District. Can you hear me okay? I can hear you just fine. I can Great. hear you just fine. Perfect. So Great that's you got there. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I live in Shelbyville. Just to give your listeners a little bit of a view about the district. It's uh, all of Shelby County, most of Moultrie County, which is Sullivan, goes south into Effingham County. We pick up a little bit of Cumberland County to the east, uh, a whole lot of Christian County, which is Taylorville, and then a little corner of Montgomery, and then the southern part of Macon, just south of Decatur. So it's a nice compact district as districts go in the state of Illinois. Awesome. Awesome. Yep. So right, right in the heartland of Illinois, really. And so right. I, there's a lot I want to talk about with you, obviously the two yeah. biggest stories. Um, the first one I want to start with is the bill mandating the EV charger capabilities for new construction is now headed to governor Pritzker's office uh, via the center square. Illinois may soon force new ho home buyers to include electric vehicle charging infrastructure. Senate bill 40 would require buildings to have EV capable conduits and would apply to new and existing homes, apartments and condo buildings. It would also require new construction of homes and multi-unit buildings to include basic infrastructure for electric vehicle charging uh, in a certain number of parking spaces. Uh, according to the bill's sponsor, Rep. Robin Gable, who's the, a Democrat from Evanston, said charging your car is a lot less expensive than buying gas, and we should make this as easy as possible for electric car owners. So and there's a lot of other things that are being said. Uh, Rep. Travis Weaver, who is uh, from Pekin, said, if less than 1% of cars on the road are EVs and less than 0.1% of cars in my district are EVs, I just don't see why we're having people downstate pay for this infrastructure. Um, so obviously, there's two sides of this debate. And, and that's kind of where I lie on this is why is it, uh, even while, while it might be cheaper to charge your car, why is it that the state is making it even more cheaper by by basically subsidizing these charging stations onto people that do drive gas cars. Right. Well, it's, it's, it's part of the social engineering. I think big picture it's social engineering. Uh, they're trying to force a narrative. They're trying to force an outcome. And this is really troubling for a lot of us. Right. And I, mm -hmm. and I always use the phone, the example of this phone. It's like how many government subsidies were used to get those smartphones to the top of the market? Well, absolutely zero. Yep. If the market likes it, the market's going to dictate. But they know that this alternative energy, whether it's wind or solar or whatever, uh, they know that's expensive. They know it's going to be slow to adopt. I mean, we've had mandates in the state of Illinois for a number of years to be like 25 percent, I think, uh, alternative energy by year 2025. Well, that's not very far away. And mm -hmm. we're in the in the low teens at best, maybe 12, 13, 14 percent. Yeah. So, well, and even even building on on that a bit more with when it comes to the statistics of all this. Um, about 40% of Americans say that they'll consider uh, electric when they buy their next car. Uh, but when uh, the poll that, that, that shows also shows that only about 8% of adults say they, or someone in their household owns or leases an EV. So electric vehicles, it seems interesting while I understand the need potentially for charging stations in the future, as we do move towards having more electric vehicles on the road, um, it's just not financially, uh, reasonable right now to expect that many people to have an electric vehicle and the, and then also force people, businesses, even potential homes to have uh, these electric vehicle capabilities when most people aren't even using them. Right. I, I think, again, it's uh, the government is trying to pick winners and losers. They're trying to force mandates on um, individuals and business. Uh, that's just too costly and they need to let the market decide. But that's not what they want. And I think this is more about uh, control. Right. I mean, it's about mm -hmm. the control. And uh, they know that America has been, been been made great on low cost energies. I mean, we, you know, we've got every square foot of Illinois soil, soil 
has coal buried beneath it. Yeah. And and a ton, a ton of oil. I mean, uh, it's often been said that uh, Illinois is the Saudi Arabia of coal just because of vast coal reserves that we have. But there's just this um, agenda by the Marxist left to uh, arbitrarily shut down our coal and natural gas fired electrical generating facilities across this state. And, they, and they've, you know, there's no clear cut plan about how to bring on alternative energies. But we're forcing this stuff with electrical vehicle uh, rebates, uh, forcing building codes to change to put all these uh, charging stations in. And part of my debate that day on the floor about this was uh, there was a three or four electrical charging stations there on the southwest uh, corner of the Stratton building, and uh, they're gone. And I tried to get to the bottom of why are the, those stations gone? Well, it's the construction. Well, the construction's on the other side of the uh, Capitol complex. It's not right there. Mm -hmm. The technology is changing so fast that this stuff changes. I mean, you could install that stuff today, and I don't know, in a matter, I mean, a matter of a year or two or three, the technology could change. And we know it's going to get less expensive as we go forward, typically. Yeah, absolutely. But I got to ask, too, uh, just, just to be clear, do you drive an electric car? No, I do not. No? What kind of car do you drive? Well, I have a GMC Terrain, gas-powered. I have a, yep. a Nissan. Linda has a Nissan Maxima, gas-powered, diesel-powered yep. pickup. And 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 it's undeniable that that for many uh, there is a cost benefit to driving an electric vehicle right. uh, in the long run. Right. Uh, but right now, right now, like I said, it is not it does not seem feasible. And in the state, I think the biggest problem that I have um, is the state forcing it one, forcing it down everybody's throats, but also kind of setting a precedent here uh, to 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 push this kind of agenda further. Like I mentioned in my intro, uh, it seems like this could lead to a similar type of ban new york recently uh kind of did through their budget uh did a a ban on gas stoves and natural gas hookups to to new developments um do you see that as something that illinois could potentially pursue sometime soon despite democrats right. saying they're not coming for gas stoves right i think any of that stuff is on the table mm -hmm. and you know we talked about when the when the new york stuff was uh going through and, and you know we would put up uh, different Facebook or social media themes, uh, memes about, you know, the gas stoves come and take it and all that. And, and you know, a fair amount of folks is, yep, they can, they can see that they can understand it. And of course there were some folks that said, oh, there's nothing could be further from the truth. But when you see the acceleration of these kind of things happening that we've seen coming out of DC, out of the uh, Biden administration, you see this in the blue States, there's just this all on attack on, uh, on low cost energy of coal and gas and uh, oil. And you see these mandates coming, they are forcing this to happen sooner than later.